with an entire four more days to go on the clock for the special champion training tournament to get Chris and other legendary champions depending on the bracket you are on, we can now clearly see the difference between Wales and free-to-play players because right now in my bracket also that I was boasting earlier on in the previous video that I was going to push in my all and give my best, I did give a disclaimer that if I see somebody going for double my points, triple my points, I will eventually put in the white flag and say I'm no longer pushing because there is no point pushing against somebody who just keeps getting two times your point three times your point at that point you're just wasting your time because you eventually spend all your um, resources on that tournament and end up taking second place which is not worth, worth it at all so i'm announcing it that etrom diva or whatever your name is <laughs> congrats you will you've eventually pushed us down so even players who are at 30k point or so have also given up nobody's pushing it anymore in this tournament I was glad that I didn't push too much. I didn't spend a lot of resources. I've not started spending my gem. I just used my saved up resources so far. I didn't, I didn't even use the, the energy in my um, inbox yet. I was still doing the daily free to play stuff. So that's what I used to get to this 18,000 points, which helped me get the points I needed to um, claim all these ones over here on this right hand side. So, yes, I'm making it official i've given up given up on this tournament so it's no longer existing i see uh, hates i see still gaming i see they are pushing for it i see them they are still pushing for it because their brackets looks a little bit more maybe equal i guess or players in those categories are not pushing as hard as somebody like this did so that's this tournament is over for me i don't know how you guys are still doing it do you still look towards getting champions um are you still pushing towards it or have you also given up because the wheels are clearly pushing right now with four more days there's still hope if somebody wants to spend money but this is not the day that my free to play account becomes a pay to win no definitely not this is not worth it now if i've been playing the game for a long time i've not gotten crisp i might reconsider and maybe want to spend some money but no i've not been playing that long and i still have some hope at getting crisp from void shards if i start getting duplicate voids that's when i know maybe it's time for me to do something special to get Chris. so with that out of the way the next update i wanted to cover in this video is the patch 23.03.22 that's launched recently oh that's the patch no the patch update is 5.30 it's also posted in game if you have not taken note of it posted in game for you to read through most players will not take the time to read it so i just wanted to cover this patch notes in this video not really read through it but actually check out what changes in the game have been made so we can all be aware of what's coming or what's new in raid and not be left in the dark so i've not checked out any video i don't know what is happening i know there are skins in the game now and i wanted to take a first look at it and give you my thoughts about everything that is going on right now champion skin is what a lot of players in the game have been advocating for because almost all games have it it just gives you cosmetic changes to your champion without changing their skill, without changing their um, abilities or anything. It just gives them another um, way or design also. So you have choice and options between, between you who you are putting into battle or not. So when you come across some champions in the battle now, you might not be able to recognize that that's an arbiter. You might be thinking, which champion is that? It's actually an arbiter with a different skin. So that's the whole point of this. This is going to cause some confusion in the community, yes, because if skins are released for every champion, remember Raid has a lot of champions. So imagine each champion having two, three skins, and you cannot, there is no way you can know all the skins except your freak in the game or something like that. So if you don't know all the skins, you eventually come across a champion in battle and you'll be wondering really which champion it is. Of course, you can always click on them and see what they are and all that and it to show you their names but at first glance you might not be able to recognize some enemy champions anymore so i think that's just the downside of it but hopefully raid doesn't do skins for every champion that will not be so i think the top legendaries especially are okay legendaries are okay i don't know about skins for epics though if you think that's a good idea share your thoughts below in the comments so the skins for habitat that have been released so far are three categories classic heroic and iconic I know that one can be purchased, I mean one can be received from events and tournaments normal, while Heroic and Iconic I think have to be purchased from the store. So I may be wrong, let me see. Heroic, no, Heroic can be gotten from the clan shop. 
dark fallen skin can be obtained from the clan shop it's not yet available it will be available from the 29th of march so don't rush over to the clan shop and think you'll get something there so by the 29th we'll be able to see that new skin available there but the rest of the other skins the iconic one will be available from the let's see it didn't say where classic could be available classic skins are standard skin that every champion has when you first summon. okay the classic skin is what she already has <laughs> why the heroic is from the clan shop why the iconic will be purchased from the shop so if you're spending money in the game of course you get the iconic skins i'll take a look at what these skins look like right now in the game if you're not aware of if you go through abita and see she's the only one that currently has this part available to her champion skins so if i go to another champion right now in the game it's available that but there's nothing there they don't have skins yet so from the store now you have the option to equip skins from here for champions you already own which is nice so by default we all have the classic skin which is this one she's currently having a uh, rocking so the new one will look like this is it downloading for me this is the first time i'm clicking it i just wanted to take a look at it this looks like what's her name now it looks almost looks like um, a dark elf <laughs> i don't see the big ears but it just looks like demon like i think so that's the dark fallen skin i'm trying to think of a name this champion that is also a void legendary Vizix, yes this looks like physics from the back of her hair and all that so this looks <laughs> doesn't look like Abita compared to the original skin which makes her look like an angel so this looks like like a dark fallen angel i guess that's the look they were going for which is perfect i think so the next one here is the luma's prophet skin there are lots of skin not just three though i thought it's just three this one is looking like um pixnail <laughs> that's what this reminds me of pixnail so i don't think a lot of people will be going for this one because it's too shiny it's just white I think the default skin is even better than this one. It looks like Pixnail, and everybody hates Pixnail. Why the Jaden Serpent skin? This looks like Mitrala from the, the the champion we're currently getting from the Hydra. So this is, I think, this is based on the Hydra boss design, Serpent skin. So I guess that's where they're taking this um, idea from. So they are all good. You will choose which of these skins best suits your champion based on which one you eventually get personally i will not be getting getting the one from this from the store that you have to pay for because i'm free to play 100 percent but the ones from events and tournaments hopefully they just give us one time and you get it not break it into fragments where you pick up fragments of the skin from each event or from each tournament that would be kind of brutal just once you get the event one you get this full skin without breaking it into pieces so that's the first update that i noticed so far the clan shop that we've been spending only energy on um spending energy over there for is also taking a new look in terms of items that will be added over there so if you head over to your clan shop they're making it more worthy for us to you know spend more items here one new champion is coming in here we've already talked about it in the previous video everybody's aware of the champion coming in here after the update but energy and accessories will not be only will not be the only two things that we'll be spending on so it will depend on how accessible those new items will be coming up we said some things over here like this superior potion should be removed this um silver should be removed like things so there are some things nobody buys here it should be removed and hopefully it is replaced with those new items um the rare skill tome is also not that useful because nobody spends on this even if you're a new player who'll be playing a month or two i don't think you buy rare skill tomes anymore at the beginning you might spend on it or a few but right now i don't think it's worth it maybe they should move it to somewhere else so new items should be added here hopefully it's not locked behind all this other part and difficult for anybody to get we'll be looking forward to that update but what we are expecting to be added there is the chaos or chaos or that right now it's only from events and tournaments we'll be seeing it added to the store which is nice fragments for yakal which is the champion yakal the scourge and two new chests with kill stroke artifacts 
the new item the new artifacts that is coming up i don't want to make any assumptions about this artifact until i actually see it in the game and make my assessment of it in terms of how best to use it so that's a new artifact that is coming up and we'll be seeing what it can be done i guess it will be for the arena i checked about i checked it out on whatever else are saying about it i think it's an arena based um artifact set which is not that exciting especially for me um we also shuffled a few items including skill tomes so hopefully maybe we'll begin to see epic and legendary skill tomes in there instead of just rare skill tomes so that's the new clan shop update that is coming up and the, the, does it say about a date no there's no date over there yannicka will be replaced with that other champion i don't have yannicka yet i'm still getting out a little by little now the next update is skill instructions this one is huge 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 this is really huge so i expected this one to we've been waiting for this one for a, a while we already know that from your dungeons or from any battles you have the option to select certain skills that she use first right you can, let's say i head over there i can go to my team setup if you're not using team setup always do and you can select which skills should be used first like say for Xavier, for this battle i want her to use her a3 first once poisons are placed right so this is what we are used to but what is new that was added right now is now you have skill instructions for round one round two and round three so how can this be useful for most players this, this doesn't really matter it just means now you have more things to set up it's a little bit of an inconvenience for most players because sometimes you're like i've set up what should happen in all battles i don't want to change it but right now with round one round two and round three it's a bit of an inconvenience before because now you have to also set that same thing you set for round one for round two and also set for round three it just sets you a little bit of a hurdle to get across but for those players who are finding it useful here is how me i personally find it useful for this my team currently now i set my prince kaima to use his a1 right when the battle starts because there's nothing he's doing and his reset skill i set it as priority but right now with this new round one i can set it to never use his reset skill in round one because sometimes when the waves don't die maybe say one person survives prince kaima just resets in wave one i'm like why are you resetting in wave one so with this new um round one round two setup i can set prince kaima to only use his reset skill in wave two you can see the problem right now if i didn't check this he might have used it in, he might have used a1 in wave one so head over to your team setup make sure you check what is available for round one round two and round three and set it again because with this new update what you set in round one is now applying to round two and round three so it will not be wise to let it just go like that so for round two i'm setting it to use his um reset skill as the opener and for round three i don't really care anything really goes for round three so that one i'll set it to default and not of course the reset is the um because this is this is dragon so i want him to use these skills so that's what i think about it it's a little bit of an inconvenience if you don't have um teams that need these presets but for you that have special teams built and when they should do their skills it is a huge huge change because my team used to reset in round two and i hated that so especially if somebody doesn't die with this i'm saved my team will only use their normal skills but i have to set for lydia also lydia is somebody else yes and round one round one round one just use your a1 a2 as the opener right on round two also is there a way i can set her not to use it again well there's no problem as long as the reset is available in round two i don't think i have a problem with this because um, my kaima will still reset and she will take her turns so i don't also want her using this other skill in round three so no problem this is fine i don't have to set any special skills she will use her a2 in round one and round two 
because my prince kama is the main person now if he use the other champion who does the reset it might be setting it up differently anyways i'll see what others are saying about it and we'll change it as we learn more about this skill but right now i think everybody needs to visit their presets and set it up again because a lot of things you said to happen once is going to happen again in round two which you might not want so i think tyraku already posted a video about it to hint to that so everybody should check that out if you don't know already super raids in faction wars is a new one i don't know if this is out yet in the game he says super raids will be enabled in faction wars for a whole month starting from march 24th and this is march 23rd so tomorrow we'll have two super raids in the arena in the um faction wars now there's something i saw today in the faction wars that i kind of surprised me it happened on the noob to pro remember when you have 12 keys right here right you've not spent your keys for the day let's say you've spent these keys and you have not spent these keys if you head over to your inventory or to your quest and try to claim your fight in five tag arena series right these keys if you claim six of them it will reset your other keys that you've not yet used so you head over back to your um faction wars and you see 12 keys despite you taking six today i noticed on the note to pro that six keys was added to my 12 keys making it 16 keys no 18 keys i mean normally we don't see that happening ever if you claim these keys without spending the 12 keys it will reset your 12 and you still have 12 it doesn't add so i don't know if I'm missing that because I've never really noticed it. But today I claimed six keys and it added to the existing 12, which is kind of new. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's also announced, but we'll be checking out to see if that happens. But when Faction Wars has um, the new, what do you call it, Super Raids turned on, it will be so fast because right now we are all enjoying Super Raids for the, the Forge, you know? doom tower i mean which is also a welcome development we're hoping they don't turn it off two parties is still on for this one but i'm thinking it might go off after this rotation we're hoping they keep all of them on i mean they keep super rates on the entire time well time will tell maybe if the community talks about it a lot they will eventually leave it on permanently multi battles in faction wars i did notice this one today there is no time that this one says it to set up collect up to 18 keys to see it's it's a new development i knew there was something strange it was new it was new it wasn't before where you get 12 keys at six and then it becomes 18. so here is the update save more time with fashion world we also made it possible for you to collect up to 18 keys i knew it was something <laughs> strange and that's the announcement right there even without reading the announcement we can notice some changes in the game which i noticed champion rebalanced let me see if there's anyone here yeah Carl the scourge before he is even dropped is that he has been changed and rebalanced well it was rebalanced before he, he got dropped into the um shop i guess so that's i don't want to check much about champion rebalances because i don't have these champions so i don't care what you're changing about uh, cleopteryx um summer gem Corps, and all that scatosis i'm not too fussed about changes that are being coming to them game experience enhancement multi battles attempts bundles are now added to your inbox separately when obtained yeah so bug fix six nothing new i think that's the whole update that is dropped so far fixed and an error that occurs collecting versus no nah, nothing else so that's all you need to know about raid right now the new stuff that are coming up the most important ones for most people will be the skins especially because it's just for Abita right now but when it drops for all other champions it will be a huge deal for the raid community a lot of players will find it difficult to recognize champions but hey with time we'll eventually get used to the skins the skill instructions is a huge one also but i feel like the um the skins is more <laughs> impactful than the skill instructions the skill instructions are very specific for champions who are um, doing certain things and so on so we are looking forward to super raids for faction wars so we can spend less time in raid i just wanted to post this update give you my first reactions about all this news that is dropping in raid and also give you an opportunity to, to catch up on it if you've not had the time to actually spend time to notice anything that is happening you've been busy in the um in the um what do you call it 
champion training pushing for the special tournaments good luck to all you guys who are still pushing for it i've thrown in the white flag and i'll call it a day there on the noob to pro we are back on that account before we had to take a pause from it because we wanted to push champion training but now we are back there trying to get um razin done so once razin is ready we will not be pulling it unless there is a champion um A a events maybe cvc will pull rising during the next cvc on that account so looking forward to an update tomorrow for normal gameplay right now every tournament every event everything has ended for me on the note to pro i was thinking about pulling for this extra legendary event normally on my this channel i don't advocate ever to pull shards out of 2x events i don't advocate for it as a free to play i always say wait till uh, free to we wait till a 2x launches before you do but because a free to play i mean a 2x just ended for ancient shards if you're thinking of pulling for this one maybe 20 30 ancients and you think you're close to pity go ahead for it i personally will not be going for this one because i'm nowhere near pity remember in the shard pool we did get a legendary champion and we are nowhere close so i will not even be pulling my four but on the noob to pro i might because we are close to pt on that account i don't know how close we are but i don't have i just have two three so on the update tomorrow this event is ending in 15 hours i don't want to do it off camera so if you do have shares this event is totally worth it because it's almost the same thing as getting a two times um event that's all the update I have for you guys and all that is happening in Raid right now. If I missed anything, drop it in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts also on the skin and the skill instructions and all this new stuff that is coming to Raid when we least expected an update from them. I'll see you guys in the next Raid Shadow Dance video. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Later guys.